the secular artists know who God is too. And God loves the secular artists also. You know, when we, we look at this thing about music, because you know, most of the time, a lot of holding down for they're going to tell you all that other music is bad music. That's the devil's music. You know, they ain't got nothing to bag it up with scriptures or none of that. It's just their opinions. You know, this going to put you in the hell for playing that. This going to put you in the hell for listening to that. Now, God loves mm, the secular artists also. See, I only say secular because I got to say secular so people know what I'm talking about because I don't even call folks secular. I say music is music and artists is artists. Though you playing R&B, you playing gospel, because real talk, this is what people don't like to say. But I'm going to say this once again. The majority of the gospel songs right now ain't nothing but old school jazz and R&B. That's all it is. Even back then, that's what a lot of it was. But we so quick to down the folks playing the secular music. Don't you know the majority of them folks came out of church first? You know, when Luther Vandross died, I love when Stevie Wonder sung I Won't Complain at that funeral. How he played it and he sung it. How the spirit was all over Stevie Wonder. But here goes somebody out, oh, man. There wasn't no anointing. Stevie Wonder, he plays secular music. Stevie Wonder don't know nothing about no God. You better be careful. Who you say don't know about God. Who you who you talking about. And you better be careful who you keep talking about that's going to hell. We always want to put people in hell. Behind a B flat card. Behind a word that say I love my baby. Good God Almighty. We don't even care about love songs no more. We don't like many men say some people that got so holy and down. They ain't no earthly good. You can't even hold your woman and dance with her nowadays. Because you going to hell. Now, I love it about Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, Charlie Wilson, uh, everybody. Isley Brothers, I love all of them. My boy, Frankie Beverly, man, Marvin Gaye, Lord rest his soul. But I'm just going to throw this out here at you. Because I always, this is just for the people that don't like the secular music. That I always sending people to hell. It reminds me of Ray Charles. Everybody know the story behind Ray Charles. Matter of fact, Jamie Foxx even did that movie. Big shout out to you, Jamie Foxx, from Terrell, Texas, or Terrell, Texas. I ain't too far from where Jamie was from. I'm in Dallas. Just had to give you a shout out, though, Jamie. God bless you. He played his butt off in that movie. But if you really look at that movie, you'll see a lot of reasons why church folks act like they act now. Young Ray at an early age was getting blind, I, I believe it's seven. But Ray's feel for music. Now you remember the scenes in the music when Ray was getting old after his mama, you know, sent him to the to the blind school. But Ray was getting older. But Ray had a strong mother. Ray mother said, "There's no more I can do for you. I done done all I can. Now I gotta send you off." And what people don't look at is the struggle that Ray Charles had. Now, Ray Charles was cold on the piano. Now you remember in the scene when he first started gigging, he started getting out there. They was getting over on Ray. Now, Ray started making a name for himself. Why? Because Ray took the gospel. Yeah, I know somebody gonna get mad at this. He took the gospel sound that he had. And a lot of people criticized Ray Charles because he flipped those songs. Now watch where I'm going with this. He made his style gospel. Slash bluesy, jazzy. He was a big fan of Art Tatum, Duke Ellington. But he took the church feel, like we call the churchy feel, and became famous off of that. Now, we want to get mad at that. But when somebody take an, uh, another artist song, a secular song, and make it gospel, a lot of people don't have no problem with that because of the lyrics. You see what I'm saying? See, it's easy to take one of Ray Charles' songs and put it in a church song. Ain't no problem with that to a lot of people. But as soon as Ray Charles take a church song and make it sound secular, 
it's a problem. Same problem we got in church nowadays. They criticize Ray because you remember one scene in the movie, they told Ray he was going to hell because he took gospel and he was used it to get paid. Hmm. And ladies say, you trying to make money off of the Lord's music. Even Della B, his wife said, Ray, that's a church song. When he, when he took that song and he was singing from his heart. Now, we want to talk bad about the artists, the secular artists. Well, he took gospel and got famous off of that by using it with R&B. He was stealing from the church. Well, as soon as I do a video talking about how preachers are stealing money from the church, it's a problem. And then the church want to say, well, that's secular. But when it comes time to speaking the truth about somebody stealing money in the church, getting big and famous off of the church, it's a problem. See, the problem is we want to make the secular people look bad. When real talk, everybody look bad nowadays. And I mean that in a good way. I'm not saying it's to make folks get angry. I'm just saying because Jesus said, call no man good but the Father. What, the reason why I say everybody is looking bad in so many ways, I mean it's everybody by saying that the people that's doing it for the wrong reasons. They know who they are. They know what they are doing. And they know they got to give an account for it. Now, best believe Ray Charles loved God. Ray got hooked on heroin. That's why people start judging him again. Well, you see, see what that secular music do? Well, I know people in church hooked on heroin. I know people in church can't stop sleeping around. I know people in church got the love of money and the church won't move forward because they stealing all the money. So my point is why we keep pointing fingers at each other. Just because you're in the church, you ain't greater than somebody in the world. Ain't nobody good but the Father. All have sinned and come short of his glory. Mm. We want to put emphasis on certain things. This is why I tell the good and the bad. Now, I don't have no, I don't have nothing against no church or no secular artists. I just try to make folks look at what's right and stop making it look like a one-sided story because folks in the church are supposed to be all good. Judging the secular artists. I'm so tired of people criticizing the secular artists and telling people that's the minister of music and musicians they going to hell for playing a Barry White song. And half of them go home they listening at this kind of stuff. I'm tired of folks hiding behind Christianity, lying. That's why I expose and tell the truth. It's out, it's out in the open. Ray Charles love God. Ray Charles, no Ray Charles had that one dream. He never had did have run again. How many folks you know in church? They got a problem with smoking. They got a problem with women. And I'm talking about from the pulpit on down, y'all. Nobody is greater than nobody. Can we keep it real and just look at it like that? And stop crying about this, oh, they playing secular music. Like Steve always say, sometimes you need to just let the folks come to church as they are. Let them sing their song. The day somebody want to get saved is the same day we run them out of the church. Man, Ray Charles took gospel music and made it R&B with the churchy feel. Just like the church folks are taking the old school music, the R&B, and making it churchy. What's the difference? Really, y'all, what's the difference? A lot of people are living jacked up, whether they saved or unsaved. So what is the difference? Why we keep peeing upon certain folk? Well, everybody that's in the R&B going to hell. And then you always want to hear this, which people don't understand. You can't serve two masters. I'm going to tell you something. I'm a minister of music, and I'm a producer. I was producing before I was a minister of music. So the same God that I serve then is the same God I serve now. How are you serving two masters? Hmm. That's what I be trying to tell folks. Get the understanding on that. Them folks serving the same God that we are serving. 
Oh, you want to say they serving the devil because they don't start shooting heaven up their own? They serving the master because they playing secular music? When you got people in the church doing the same thing? So you might as well easily say folks inside of the church are serving two masters when you telling these folks in the world. They love them. That God loved them too. Like we always say, many man, God loves the sinner but hates the sin. I don't know, I don't know nobody I'm around that don't sin, bro. I know I sin. I know you sin. I know everybody around me got a problem they fighting with. Whether it's cocaine, heroin, running women, homosexuality, they fighting with something. And I wish we could get to the point where we can stop talking about, oh, people in the world are so bad than the people in the church. I did a video a long time ago. I don't know who looked worse now. The people in the world or the church. In my, that's why I say in my eyes, we all the same. Because these ones that have been saved all their life, they keep throwing it up in everybody's face. And when you look at their background, they was worse than a whole lot of folks. They just done got saved, and some of them think they saved, and some of them ain't saved at all. And I'm going to leave on that note.